Here's a 70 year old patient with uh, diabetes, renal failure, on dialysis with a couple toes that are not healing well. And this is a patient I had a pre-angiogram with CO2. We use a ton of CO2 and there's ways to optimize your imaging. Uh, you can give nitroglycerin to help their arteries. You can elevate their legs so that the CO2 flies down better. Um, inject as distally as possible with a catheter. And so you can see there's an SFA occlusion and it occludes all the way, there's some calcium all the way to the distal uh, SFA proximal pop. This is that Hunter's canal. This is that high level of flexion zone. Um, so my plan, since I've already had the angiogram previously, is that I like to go anagrade because it gives me, I have enough running room in the, SF, in the common femoral into the SFA. That's one thing you got to consider. If you have a flush occlusion of the SFA, going down that same side, you're not going to have a lot of room to get your sheath in and access. But if you have enough, a few centimeters of SFA, you're going to have plenty of space to do your work. Um, if I'm going to integrate, for me, it's a shorter sheath because I don't need that, that long length. And I, the shorter the sheath that covers the distance, the better. You have less distance for your device and equipment to go. 100% of my cases that are um, PAD or CLI will have the foot prepped. I did that partly because there's, I am very low threshold to go uh, pedal or retrograde. But also I did that because none of my techs roll their eyes anymore when I ask for a foot prep. It's prepped every time. It's part of the standard approach for me. There's nothing that we have to have a uncomfortable argument about. So as you can see here, this is the micropuncture needle sticking the common femoral artery under ultrasound. Um, and then this is the nitrix wire. And you can see the wire coming down the SFA. It's good if you oblique the II ipsilaterally. So you can see that um, going down the SFA a lot easier. And you know that you're not going into the profunda by obliquing that in the, uh, in this case, the RAO position. Now this patient tried to go down uh, with the catheter wire support, didn't go. So had to go retrograde, which is why to have the foot prep, it's very helpful. So this is accessing the, the AT and you see the micropuncture wire. This is just a nitrix wire again, micropuncture needle, sorry, nitrix wire. Eventually get, as you can see in this picture, this is a support catheter from above. Uh, that's an 018 quick cross with a 018 wire. And from below actually have an 018 support catheter with a micro snare. This is something that me and my partners do a lot we use micro snares. These are four millimeter snares as a target. Whether we're just trying to grab a wire, whether we're targeting with an outback, we like to use micro snares. They tend to be really helpful in catching it. Now, it's, if you can imagine this, this, this catheter from above and this catheter from below are both in a subintimal space. They're not in the lumen, otherwise it'd be easy to grab it. So you can often get into the same intimal space, subintimal space from above and below and that's what's happening here. This is snaring in the subintimal space. Once you get that, pull the wire all the way out, you do your intervention. We tend to do, I tend to do everything from above. In the retrograde axis, even for SFA interventions, it's the same as if I'm doing CLI cases. Use a PEDS micropuncture set, a nitrix wire. And as a sheath, I only use the inner three of the micropuncture. I don't put in slender sheets or any other uh, devices. I like to do my interventions from above. I'm not, I don't do a TAMI or a, just a retrograde alone just personal choice. And for most cases, a V18 wire is what's used to get all the way up and then you know snare it, do whatever else you want, get a balloon up there, whatever you have to do. But that's usually the standard setup. Um, so in this case, finally got across in the subintimal space. This is that area of subintimal space. You can see a little bit of a shelf here. Uh, in this case, ended up with a short, uh, short bare metal. I think it was a silver PTX in this case.